Good evening guys, my name is Judy and I will continue this video series about our new UN Unified Networking Lab features. In this video I will show you I will show you the users, multi-user functions, how it works in our UNL. This means that you can create users with different roles and I will I will show you what you can do with each of role and how you can use the UNL simultaneously and uh, do not disturb each other even you are using the same lab in the same time. Let's jump into my scratchings and then check. So the first thing how to create a users and the user roles. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, the first thing you must be administrator when you are logging into the UNL. I'm administrator and I'm going to log in. And the next step is users and actions and add new user. Now let me explain here. The first is a username which will be used for login. Let me create. It will be test10. Okay. The name, yeah, it could be uh, John. John. Email is uh, John. <coughs> John at lab local for example local uh, the password I will use the same like a username test 10 and the roles look at this here are three roles administrator of course can do everything administrator can create another administrator uh, this is very very nice because uh, when you're when you are just installed your UNL and the administrator is by default the admin admin and the password is UNL and you can create another administrator as as you wish that's your name and then your password with no expiration and you can delete default administrator username from this system and you will be the single and secured user as an administrator of, of UNL. So in this case I will I will show you the two two more options editor and the user so administrators can do everything create users and do everything create labs delete labs uh, do everything with the shapes and uh, create uh, you can do whatever you wish. Editor. Editor role, you can do everything with the lobbying, with, with the editing, but you cannot do the part of the users. You cannot manage the users. But the last one, last one role is user. And the user can just start lab, the run this start lab, work on it to save configurations just using VR from CLI, but it cannot delete this lab. He cannot edit this lab. He can do nothing. He cannot delete anything from your systems. It is very, very good for, uh, let's say, for students. If you are creating some labs for the students and you are creating the uh, into the user role, and this guy is, is coming to your UNL, he can he can run. It's just a particular one lab, for example, and. Um, and actually work on this lab, yeah. But but he cannot delete nor initial configurations to edit nothing. He can wipe nodes, and the nodes will boot from your initial configuration, and the user can do nothing with your initial configurations. So let's do editor uh, test ten expiration expiration of the user such format. Yeah, it's uh, no worries if you are if you don't know it's uh, which format I can use. I will say it's uh, twelve. Yeah, it's I'm saying saying just a clicking here. He's a uh, here is a tip how it, how it should be uh, 2016 okay uh, the pod number look on the right side the pods are uh, numbers actually these are uh, like uh, your personal profiles and the pod number should be assigned which is not used here so I will choose in uh, this case it will be so the pod number 10 is used okay it's I will choose let's say 21 and the expiration date of the pod as well I can I can say that it will be the same like user so the user is created okay do not remember password we need not and the red new one user okay it will be test 20 uh, the name will be Anna uh, the email will be Anna at lab local uh, the password will be test20 and the role will be user the expiration we will choose the same and the pod number so it's a 21 is chosen uh, it's here it's uh, we will do it's a 22 
and the expiration will be the same like a username. So user is added. Now remember a password. So the next step I will show you. So I'm going to log out and this is my native PC here and I will log in into this uh, UNL particularly this is a, the one single server where I will going to log in. I'm using the test 10 and the test 10. Okay. So I'm in and uh, unfortunately uh, in this UNL and then coming release we are not locked users into the one particular directory in a locked actually in a one folder therefore you can see any any user who are here and the all labs you will see here and uh, if you are editor of course you can you can mess some things yeah, it, uh, for, uh, for uh, your friends yeah it's and be careful with that yes yeah, if you're editor you are responsible that you can delete something or, or uh, do some some activities which are not okay for others in a further uh, further UNL release I very hope that we will lock into special folders and only admin can can sort things and see every user so, yeah it's but on today it is as it is so you uh, you remember in its previous videos we created a DMVPN lab yeah so I'm going in so here is a lab and let me start it on a couple of nodes yeah, so let's say I will start. As you see, the buttons are still here. Yeah, it's. A, but let me show you the one thing that you are not allowed to do anything with the users. I'm clicking on the users, and you have not privileged access. So uh, let's go back to the lab, and you are in editor role here. So this main editor, I can add the notes if I wish. Yeah, it's uh, you can make a shapes, you can edit shapes, you can do everything. Yeah, it's just you have no access to the users. Let me start the notes. <clears throat> I'm going to pause while, while this note starting. So my node started. Yeah, it's and if you are going inside, you can show run and check. Yeah, it's everything works, and uh, we can try. We can try to ping something here, so for example a hub, ping 192.168.1.100, yeah it should work. So how to test the second user with the same lab? For these purposes I created uh, I created some VMware machine, which is here. Uh, let me, so that mm -hmm. way I think it could be better. Could be better, All right. Okay. So here we are, and from VMware machine I will log in like a test 20 and test 20, the same machine. Okay, we don't, we do not need remember, and you see that uh, we are logged in. Yeah, it's the same machine. If I'm checking the users, of course I have no privileges, and I'm I'm simple user here, and I'm going to DMVPN lab, opening the same lab. The lab opening and look here now you are cannot add any more the notes here is a cross button is disappeared here if you're going inside the manage of the notes you cannot delete no more options yet if you can delete you can start stop and wipe if you are looking under the main button of the management you can start stop and wipe this means your lab always will boot from initial configuration let me start it the same notes. So I'm going to pause. And let's wait. So I'm back and let's check now the my VMware machine and tr let's try to jump to the hub. Right and jump to the R1. So you can see that I'm running the same lab in the same time and let's do some configuration here conf t uh, interface a little back zero not zero is it? it's okay let's do 10 uh, ip address uh, 192.168.10.1255000 it's just just for tests and we are so and one more good thing yeah, is uh, you can use VR and you can stop your machines as a user. Yeah, it's even you have it's uh, any possibilities uh, 
to edit your initial configuration but you can use VR and stop machine and later to start it yeah it's uh, let's say the student after the lunch is coming back and starting your machines and he can he can do the configurations where he finished it actually very very nice so let's check now and you can see that I configured it as a student and I configured the interface a little back then let's go back now to another user and another user is here and the hub and if you are going to inside the router one show run you can see that no any loopbacks are configured here right so it's if i'm going to configure an interface loopback 20 yeah it is the same lab but different users this mean you you are running the absolutely to different process processes and you do not mess each other it is absolutely great feature when together with the friends like let's say in a corporate uh, corporate uh, company yeah, so you can establish your install your unit lab yeah it's an, and many engineers can use the same time same labs and train yourself yeah it's and do whatever you wish so, so i'm doing the loopback ip address um ip address so let's say uh okay six 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 two five five two five five two five five dot that's it uh ip address okay good and and we are and you're gonna see now that's um i'm just saying we are show run you can see that I added the Lubak 20, which is this IP address. And now it's I'm going to say to VR, for example, and I will stop the nodes. Uh, <clears throat> VR. Okay, done. Perfect, I'm going to stop. Uh, okay, the manage nodes, and I'm saying to stop all nodes. As you as... Uh, in this one is a t user test 10 you can check that uh, uh, if your configurations are it's it's a sync yeah it's a but let me start now again to router one I'm going to and you can see the router started yeah it's an and it's booting actually from NVRAM so so the steps inside of the UNL is such a way if you do not use the wipe of the node it will always will boot and look first in a NVRAM if the NVRAM is empty he will look for configuration uh, for configuration in initial if the initial configuration is set to none he will come back to rotor he will jump back to rotor and will boot from nothing actually from nvram from scratch and if you are going inside you can see that show run and uh, show run and you can see that my configuration is here Yes, but this configuration is not replicated. Of course, it not nothing is here. And as a student, I can I can say that we are my router one here. I can say it, uh, stop nodes. You can see that's limited options. There is no options like in an editor mode. It should uh, just I'm saying to stop nodes, right? And I'm come back. I'm opening my lab. Yeah, it's and see when I'm leaving. Yeah, and some guy jumping back to my lab okay and i'm starting where i configure it and left my router let me start it and we will check <clears throat> so router is booting it will be must fall uh, much much faster yeah it's uh, comparing like when it's uh, waiting for initial configuration yeah it's uh, just booting from anywhere up and it should be very fast now Oh, <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, it's overlap. And, uh, that's my fault. Yeah, it's a uh, show run. Yeah, so I configure it with the wrong IP address, which, which I should not. Yeah, it's a Damascus. It's too high. Yeah, but actually, you see the configuration, uh, configuration is here, and everything. Uh, paste content, cool. It's an IP address. Let's say it mask should be. Uh, 255, 255, 255, for example. Yeah, it's an. Oh, yeah. Uh, interface loopback. And the IP address. And 
So, now you saw how two users simultaneously can use the same lab, same time, do not disturb each other to save each configurations and the different roles. So, I think it, it was informative for you and thank you for viewing.